Hi, it's so Sarah here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am on my period and I thought let's spend our period weeks together and comfort each other, be there for each other, share ideas, all sorts of things like that. So let's get right into the video. If you're someone who doesn't have periods or you're grossed out by periods, here's your warning to click out of this video now. So I am just in the middle of the walk. I just thought I'd stop for a minute. Um, I don't often work out much on my periods. Um, usually if I do anything, it's walking and maybe yoga or stretching. But when I'm having really bad cramp days, I can't barely get myself to like get up and do anything. So it's the first day my period is about to start. Usually it starts Wednesday. It's actually Tuesday after work right now. Um, my period's generally Wednesday to Sunday. Um, my birth control is every three months. So I only have my period four times a year, which is so nice. Um, that's just the kind of birth control that I've been on for a very long time. And it's been really nice because I have endometriosis. And if you don't know what that is, I do have an entire video on it. I actually had surgery six months ago to remove it. And they did remove it all, um, but that doesn't mean it can't grow back. And I think I can tell that it's coming back because the pain is coming back sometimes. Um, definitely not like before, but I'm worried that it's going to be worse than it was before or just as bad. So that's a whole other thing. Um, but because of that, I'm really grateful to only have my period four times a year because it's really, really painful. Um, even though endometriosis does cause pain at other times of the year as well. Oh, there's thunder. I don't know if you could hear it. There's also cars driving by. Um, I try not to plan too many things during my period week. I know that Wednesday and Thursdays are my most painful days. Those are the heaviest days. Um, so I try to plan to really just be able to like sit on the couch those nights. And then I also try to plan accordingly when it comes to my food, try to have foods that will help with cramping or just with the pain in general, as well as the things that I know I generally crave. So I already ate sushi last night, which is something I always want during my period week. I was already super emotional yesterday. Um, I had PMS last week, so I was dealing with all of that stuff. Um, so hopefully now it's mostly just going to be the physical things that will be impacting my body. So I think we're going to go finish our walk now. I just showered and I decided to wash my hair. It's not normally a hair washing night for me, but I thought it might make me feel good and fresh for the start of this period. And I did a face mask and I'm just putting on my skincare. I decided I'm gonna make some ramen noodles for dinner and then I will probably take my hair out and get it all brushed out. As much as I want to sit on the couch tonight, I have to do work for a client. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it done tonight or not. So I may have to go into tomorrow, we'll see. Um, and then Robbie and I have a meeting with our DJ for the wedding at 7.30. It's just like a Zoom meeting. Oh crap, it is a Zoom meeting. I was thinking it was a phone call first. Oh well. Um, then hopefully I'm gonna be asleep before 10 o'clock tonight because I desperately need it. Sway there in all the colors. Okay, so I'm just gonna end off the night with reading a bit of this book, The Power of Fun. This is one of Robbie's books. He likes to take off the covers when we're reading them. So I'm gonna just start that. I haven't even started it yet. And then I'm gonna do a little journaling in my notebook and I'm gonna have this playing in the background. I love having ambiance playing in the background. It is so cozy. And that's what I'm gonna do before I go to bed. I just took my morning walk 
and it's almost seven. I'm gonna get ready, get my breakfast, and head to work. bone broth every morning and then I put this in I just put a scoop and I just do a cup of bone broth which is two servings out of one of these containers I usually do it before I work out or before I walk or anything I just totally didn't even think about it today so I'm having it now all right I have got this dress on because I don't want anything touching in this area and then I'm just gonna wear some sandals definitely cramping right now. I have to take my medicine still and breathe it out. This is so annoying. I just ran home real quick to get my heating pad because I forgot it. And I just want to stay home. It's so cozy in there. It just smells cozy. It feels cozy. I just like I laid on the bed for a minute. I'm like I want to just stay here. But I can do that tonight. I can get through the rest of the day, like four more hours, I'll be fine. Well, as you can hear, it's raining very loudly. Good thing I've got my umbrella. stop to get gas and I'm starting to cramp so bad right now and I've taken medicine like I can't really take anything else at this point so I'm gonna get home I kind of just want to shower so that I can just be clean for the night and then sit on the couch with my heating pad all night long and I'm so glad I got it because it was really helpful to have it work too I had it on my back and then I had to move it to the front as well so yeah that's about where I'm at right now I lied and I'm going on another walk with Robbie. We're watching a show now and then I'm going to do my work for my client tomorrow before work because I just want to lay on the couch with my heating pad and be cozy. Good morning. It is Thursday at 5.40. I woke up at 5 actually so I could start working for my client. Then I realized my laptop was almost dead so I brought it out here to charge. I laid in bed for a while longer. Now I'm back out here. About to start working. I am all cozy on the couch. I've got my heating pad and then I've got some bone broth to drink and I'm cramping so bad. I started cramping really bad last night before bed um, and then this morning I woke up cramping at 3 30 and then again at 4 30. It's like just really really painful cramps. Work is gonna be so hard today. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna sit here with this heating pad for like an hour and then I'll get ready for work. Also, it was storming as soon as I woke up this morning, like lightning and loud thunder. So I'm not going for a walk this morning, but it was so cozy. I was like, I just want to sleep for like three more hours, but of course I cannot do that. <laughs> We also had to bring our patio furniture in because they're supposed to be outside painting our buildings today, but I highly doubt they're doing that with the rain. So now it's just gonna sit here for days.
outside for lunch now. I've got my spaghetti, it's red lentil pasta with beef and cheese. Um, and then I've got a sparkling water and I'm gonna have some salad after. I just left it in the fridge, I'll just eat it at my desk. And I'm trying to get some time outside before it starts raining again. Now I'm gonna go on a walk. It is extremely windy right now. I can feel the rain coming in. Not actually feel it, but I can tell it's coming soon and it's gonna be bat storms. So I'm getting some exercise. I just saw a huge lightning strike. Did you hear that thunder? Maybe I should probably go inside. Jeez. <laughs> this is my haul for next week. I went grocery shopping. This stuff's for tonight. This stuff's for breakfast next week, along with eggs, which I have already. My lunches are going to be gnocchi with vegetable hash and chicken sausage. Dinners are going to be cauliflower rice, vegan poke, salmon, and cucumbers. And then extra stuff, I got this watermelon lemonade sparkling water. I got more avocado oil spray, lemonade, strawberry lemonade ice bars, some plant-based buttery spread, and a mango. Good morning, it is Friday and I'm going for my daily morning walk. As you can see, it hailed here yesterday and tore about half the leaves off of the trees. So the trees look like they're going into fall mode and, but it also feels like it's mid-April. It also feels like it's like mid-October. So except there's no pretty leaves. So it's very interesting. Even though today is not the last day of my period, usually Saturday and Sunday on my period are like nothing. Like I just don't have much to experience that's out of the norm. So today will be the last day. I'm definitely cramping a little bit this morning, but it's kind of going away. It's not like yesterday at all. Thursday is always the worst day. Um, and today I'm working from home and then Robbie and I actually have a dentist appointment and then Robbie and I this evening are going to our last wedding meeting, which I'm super excited for. And then we're going to get dinner. So it's going to be so much fun. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much the rest of the day. Um, you can probably hear all the geese back there. They're really enjoying themselves. We are leaving for our wedding meeting. It's our final one.
All right, well, I think that is all for this video. It's a Friday night, it's 10 o'clock, and we're getting ready to go to bed. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed. I hope that we just got to spend some good time together and that you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.